In this video I'm going to show you how to add a WooCommerce product add-ons and custom fields to your product pages. And the end result is on the screen right now. As you see there are a bunch of custom add-ons here. I can choose toppings, drinks and I can even add a conditional field here. Take a look. Yes or no and I can choose once again whatever I want. If I add it to the cart Everything is added to the cart as you see here. If I go to the checkout, it's also here. And it's also added to the thank you page and order emails. So if you would like to add product add-ons to your site, then dive in. As you see, this one here is my starting point. I have a product called pizza and I need to add some add-ons here. That is toppings and drinks. In order to accomplish all that, I'm going to go to the dashboard, go to the plugins, add new and search for a plugin called PPOM. This one here, product add-ons and fields for WooCommerce. Let's install it and activate it. If you would like to become a contributor by opting into data tracking, then select this one here, otherwise select this one. And next go to the WooCommerce and PPOM fields here. You can see all the add-ons, change log, general settings, we're going to take a look at the general settings a bit later. So let's start by adding some fields here. First, we're going to add a new group. And this one is called Pizza Extras. Later, I'm going to show you what to do with these options here. First, I'm going to add some fields. And first field I'm going to select is Pizza Size. If you need to add a description here, then go ahead. Otherwise, you don't have to add anything here. I'm going to select fixed fee here and what will it do? It will add a one-time fee to the cart total. If I don't do that, then if someone chooses more than one product, then for every product there will be a fee. So based on your shop, you can choose whether it's one-time fee or the amount is based on product quantities. I'm not going to set up any conditions here, but I'm going to add options. And the options are 11 inch thin, no extra product price for it. Next one, 11 inch deep for extra 290. Now it's going to be 14 inch thin for extra 390. And last one, 14 inch deep for 490. Add field and done with it. Next one, let's add some toppings. This time I'm going to choose checkbox input. Take a look. Those nine fields are in a free version. If you would like to get an access to other fields, then you need to purchase a pro version. At the moment, I'm going to choose this one here and give it a title, extra toppings, fixed fee, add options, pepperoni for 150, salami for 160, bacon for 190, and chicken for 170. If you would like to add a tooltip, then just add a tooltip here. For example, this is tooltip, add field. And last one, I'm going to add conditions here. Would you like to have a beer? Description. In order to purchase alcoholic beverages, you need to be older than 18 years. Options. I'm older than 18 years and I'm younger than 18 years. Add field. And now let's add some options if the customer is older than 18 years. Checkbox input, title, select your drink, fixed fee, options, Carlsberg for 450, Tuborg also for 450, and last one, Saku on ice for 450. Now let's activate the conditions. Show this field if select your, sorry, would you like to have a beer is I'm older than 18 years. Let's update it. Now I forgot to add non-alcoholic beverages. So I'm going to add a field called drink, options Fanta, 350, Sprite, 350, and Coca-Cola, also 350. Add field. And I need to be on top of the alcoholic beverages. Save field. Done. And now let's take a look. 
If I refresh, nothing happens. Now there are a couple of ways for me to add the fields to this product. First is I'm going to open up the product itself. And there is a PPOM fields here. I, if I choose Pizza Extras and update it and open product, then those are here. Or I'm going to deactivate this one here. I'm going to show you the other way. The other way is if I go to the PPOM fields, there is a attach to products button here. I'm going to click on it, search for a pizza, this one here, save, refresh, and it's here. And there is also a third way. If I would like to add it to the categories, then I'm going to go to the products categories. I'm going to choose the slug, for example, hats. I'm going to add it here like this. Now let's test whether it works. I'm going to go back to the product itself. And let's choose some options here. As you see, if I choose something, it's displayed down below here. Drinks, add it to here. Extra toppings. Let's take a look at the conditional fields. I'm younger, nothing happens. I'm older, there are a couple of options here. There is a description we added in order to purchase alcoholic beverages. You need to be older than 18 years. And now take a look at this option here. Control price display on product page, whether to hide the price table. Let's test it, save fields, refresh. And you'll see that this table that was displayed before, it's hidden. Show only option totals. Let's see what happens now. Refresh. Only option totals is displayed. Or show each option price. Let's save this one and test once again. This is what you see. So if you would like to hide the option price table, then choose this one. Otherwise, leave it as it is. If you would like to change the labels displayed here, then there is a way to do that. Go to the PPOM fields, open up general settings, and you'll see those are the labels. You can change those here. You also can add a total suffix here. Okay, so far so good. Let's add it to the cart. View cart. As you see, everything I chose is displayed here. Also, it's displayed here. I'm going to go to the checkout page. Everything is displayed here and here. Visually understandable. Place order. Once again, all the information is here and here. And if I open up my email, once again, everything is displayed in the email. Let's take a look at the order itself. Well, what do you know? Everything is also here. Awesome, isn't it? Now there is one thing I would like to change though. And this is a way that is displayed here. I can do that with a couple of lines of CSS code. Therefore, I'm going to go to the customizer. Open up the additional CSS. Paste this piece of code here. And now as you see, all the add-ons are displayed a little bit better. And they are visually more visible. If you would like to use this code, then take a look at the description of this video. I'm going to add this part to the description. So this way you can add as many product add-ons and custom fields as you like. You can add the fees to those. You can even add different fields to different products or product categories. Fairly easy to use. And as you saw, all this took us less than 10 minutes. Now, before you go, wait, if you find this tutorial helpful, then press thumbs up this one here and take a look at this side of the screen it contains two good videos i think you may find them useful meanwhile take care bye